Yoinks. Nah. Is this the place where I can run for district attorney? Yes. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Sir, is this the place where I can run for district court judge? Yes. We must travel down a dirty road. Hmm. I sure love gambling my way to the top, am I right? This man is 75 years old. No, actually I'm 63. Bet. Are you running for the set position as well? Yes, I am Robert LaFollet. Robert the Fallen, more like Robert the Stupid. I have made my way to the Senate using gambling and dirty tactics against my opponents. Eat my shorts, commie scum! With my political position as a senator of Wisconsin, I am releasing a list of 205 commies under the Republican and Democratic Party. Sir, this is the National Public uh, Newspaper Association. What is your proof? Sir, you must need proof. We as the American public deserve- You're a commie. You're a communist. You're a communist. You're filming this, right? I got it, no problem. This man right here, Owen Lattimore, is definitely a communist. Actually not, though. S say it, he said it, say it again. I'm not a communist. You hear that, hear that American public? I said I'm not I'm a not. communist. What are you doing, man? Get back here. Check this out, American public. This man hates my work, and because of it, he's definitely also a communist. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Shut up, boy. Just because I, you, I don't like you doesn't mean I'm a communist. You hear that? He said he's a communist. S stop. Sorry. Sorry. The, the military is, is all communist. I swear. Sir, breaking news telegram. I'm really good at writing newspapers. 
Wait, are you better than me at newspaper writing, young brother? Yes. Don't you know, you can only have one franc per town. Get the f*** out of my house. I'm your newspaper boy. I'm here to deliver your newspaper. Sure thing, young lad. Spread the word. Philadelphia Gazette. Philadelphia's first newspaper. It's really good, and since I'm Ben Franklin, it's definitely way better than it's good. You know, I just love advocating women's rights, and in my spare time, I'm definitely, definitely quite the ladies' man. Poor Richard's Almanac. It includes a lot of my, a lot of my discoveries from when the weather is what and when the farm is what. Sir, there's a fire. What are we gonna do? I have an idea. Let's start the first Philadelphia Fire Department, all in under my name. All right. Good luck with that. There's not enough books for us to read. I have an idea to solve the amount of books that we can read as Philadelphia. What is that? <laughs> I'm just so happy just thinking about it. Let's start the first Philadelphia Library Union. Yes! Can't wait to read more books, am I right? Yes! Give him the word that I'm not alone. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are all the same. I'm so alone. Don't have nobody to. Guys, Thomas Hutchinson, he's not really for us, he's against us. Let's rise and revolt. I'm so mad now, I'm gonna revolt. Wow, that worked just as I planned. I officially signed the Declaration of Independence. Now we can revolt, and I am part of it. All right, colonists, here in Albany, you know, repping the nation. Um, I'll, this is all I gotta say. Snake together, strong. Snake apart, not strong. You see what I'm saying? Join or die. That's, that's all I'm trying to get at here. As a colonist, I want to be independent. I don't want to join that. I want to be on my own. You hear me? Wow, that didn't work as planned. Mr. Simon. Yes? Bring us a dream, give him a pair. Ben Franklin, I've been trying to find you all day. you got to sign this. What is it, sir? It's a constitution. Please sign it right now. I'm so thrilled. I cannot wait to sign this with my name. Fantastic. L let me sign this real quick. We're, we're, we're America now. I'm, I'm part of it. Give him a lonely heart like Polly Archie and lots of wavy hair. Ben Franklin is a tremendous husband and an incredible man. First of all, he's an amazing inventor. He came up with bifocals, swimming fins, and an electric stove. How cool! Joseph McCarthy was a terrible politician. And let me tell you, as president, it really ticked me off when he went after the military. So I wrote him a letter saying that the military was not tied to communism, and that ruined his career. Thank God. Oh.